The Institute of Papua New Guinea Studies is located in Boroko, opposite Garden City, a humble setting, but its purpose is a great and worthy one. Under the National Cultural Commission, the Institute is responsible for research on various aspects of culture. There is a music and ethnology department. In here lies a treasure trove of early recordings going back over a hundred years. People may totally identify with a very early recording, for example, and say, oh, this is exactly the way we perform it now. Listen to these old recordings. This uh, confirms that we're continuing the traditions of our ancestors as we're supposed to. Although captured in time, time itself is not on the Institute's side. They will have to transfer all of this into formats compatible with today's technology. Ironically, most of the early recordings were held in London. The ones here are copies of the originals. Uh, we've made uh, attempts to bring back these early recordings to Papua New Guinea because we want very much the Institute to be the focus of all research activity concerning music and dance in the country. So people doing research on this materials should be able to do all of it within Papua New Guinea. Naomi Fike Simmet is one of the six researchers that work here. She's also PNG's first dance researcher. Her work on the Yangi tribe in the East Pacific put her in the spotlight. With Western forms of dance influencing young generation, she's keen on collaborating with the education department to come up with a curriculum that will sustain traditional dance. Students are copying what they see from the television and all that. And for a cultural research institute, we, 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 we have a role to play so, so that we can edu educate them that, hello, we exist and our primary function is to um, make sure that you know your culture. Another area the Institute is venturing into is the translation of languages. Senior researcher Peter Wahanduo has begun on the Waiko language of the East Sipik. We went for a training up at Goroka and then we were taught how to collect data on the languages. The archives are open to the public but materials can only be used on the premises the Institute was the brainchild of literature icon Uli Bayer, established in 1974. Meredith Kusa.